Where do I begin to tell this story? My parents spent all their lives living in a small town in Korea and they've never tried pizza in their lives. So today I'm going to do something really special for my parents and that is making New York style pizza in this rural Korean forest farm. But Jimmy, how do you plan on baking pizza in that place full of nothingness? Great question. I'm going to build a fully functional wood fire brick oven with raw materials with these bare hands and use that to bake my pizza. Should this nominate me for the Son of the Year award? Well, I think so. Ah, oh, nice and aromatic. It's another beautiful day in this rural town in South Korea. And I mean to bring some American spirit here today. Why is it so small, by the way? <laughs> Alright, let's start by cleaning up my workspace. I don't want any Korean country town germs getting into my New York pizza, you know? I told my parents to come to the farm in an hour or so, so I don't have much time to waste. Alright everyone, it's time to make the dough. This is really easy to make. Get 250 milliliters of water, 30 grams of highly pure olive oil, extra virgin, still holding onto that V-card, 10 grams of dry yeast, Oh, look at the sunlight. It's beautiful. 320 grams of flour. 10 grams of salt. Uh, this is semolina rimaginata. Sounds really fancy, but it's just a different kind of flour. Never forget, 10 grams of honey. With everything in there, you just gotta work the dough, pick up all the flour. I'm gonna take the dough out of there. You just wanna take your time and do this for like 15 minutes. I'm kind of a cat person, so I learned this trick from my cat. Can you guys imagine the faces of my parents when they taste the proper pizza for the first time? I mean, they've been missing out. Having never tried pizza? That's just kind of criminal. So today, I'm gonna help them try their first New York pizza ever, made by their son. Check this out, check this out. This looks like a bud. I'm gonna cover it up, give it about 30 minutes, and we're gonna come back. Oh, and you guys know what time it is. It's time to chop some wood. Why did I take my shirt off? I don't know, why are you watching? Gotta collect them all, gotta collect them all. Found another Pokemon. That's another Pokemon for me, all right? Is he dead? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. All right, welcome back to my PG-13 cooking show. 30 minutes. You'll notice that it's gotten a little larger. I'm talking about the dough, not my biceps. Or maybe both. This dough that I just made should yield about three dough balls of uh, 220 grams each. I'm going to keep them in food containers like I keep my sad feelings in the corner of my heart. You actually want to ferment them for 24 hours before using them. Unlike your sad feelings, you never want to ferment them. If you do that, they will eat you. So I've already prepared my pizza dough yesterday for me to be able to bake them today. There's my parents. These poor people of this country town, they never had proper pizza. They get to try it today. To have me as their son, have me cook pizza for them. How lucky are they? Okay guys, now we're gonna make the tomato sauce. Ready for this? Ooh. Oh, it smells like Italy. You know, I'm, I'm a simple Korean man, so if something's from Europe, I just assume that it's amazing. So making the tomato sauce is really easy. Pick up some peeled tomatoes, but don't get too much juice with it. Just the solid chunks. Throw some oregano in there, little bit of salt, and a pinch of sugar, and start crushing them with your monstrous grip strength. Or use a blender if you're smart. Do you guys want some crushing tomatoes ASMR? All right, that's enough. All right, that's done. Looks nice and fresh, right? Hmm, now I feel like I need to prepare some toppings. Here's a whole chunk of pepperoni. A little smaller than how I like it. Guys, I'm not gonna use some factory-made, mass-produced, fake meat pepperonis. I'm an honest man, and I'm only going to use good, honest toppings on my pizza. It's been an easy day so far, hasn't it? 
here comes the part that is actually challenging, and that is to build a brick fire oven on this remote land. Well, I only got the building materials. Now I'm gonna have to move these to a deeper corner of the forest, because my father doesn't believe that my oven would look nice enough for this farm. Having doubts about me? That's an easy mistake you can avoid. Oh my god! Who needs CrossFit when you can just work at a farm? So I'm gonna build my brick oven right here in this corner. Isn't this beautiful? Let us begin. I learned this wood fire oven design from a YouTube channel called Chef Steps. So huge shout out to them. I already had the blueprint in my head, but my father had huge issues with just about everything I do. Well, all my life he never liked anything I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing about me, I'm not the kind that allows haters to dictate how I feel. Notice how when I build it up, there's this middle block and there's a little bit of gap in between. So that's where the fire goes and this is where the heat comes out of. Oh my god, I am so proud of my creation. And there's my gorgeous oven, ready to make some pizza. <sighs> now all I had to do was to see if the fire would heat up the top layer as it was designed to. And thank god it seemed to be working. It's hot. You guys know how things look easy on YouTube until you try it? This was one of those things. So I ended up with some holes that I had to patch up. Uh. <laughs> But they're like the holes in my heart caused by emotional damage. I try and try to fix them, but they keep opening back up, you know? This is my first time ever making pizza. I didn't really care if the pizza looked a little ugly, but I really wanted it to taste good. After all, it was going to be my parents' first introduction to American pizza. Salami in there. With some salami and proper pepperoni, it's the meat lover pizza that I always like. Guys, you guys might think this is ugly. And you might think I am ugly. But you see, it's not really about what you see sometimes. It's about what's in here. Well, 90% of the time, it's about what you see. Oh, by the way, I forgot to put my costume on. The New York style. How do you like my fashion today? Let's find out if this whole thing wasn't a waste of time. Oh. My parents are right next to me, waiting to see me fail. This has to work. I simply cannot afford to fail and give them the joy of saying, I told you so. And soon, it was ready. Whoa! That's New York, alright? Wow. Well, it's not the best looking pizza, but sometimes you gotta put things in your mouth to see if you truly like it. My god. My god. Not the best looking, but let me try first. Believe it or not, it was shockingly good. Hmm. Here. Here how crunchy it is. Huh. Ah, this is really good. Yeah, do you want to eat this? No, I want to eat it first. Ah. Okay. No BS, it was probably a notch below very good pizza restaurants. And better than any pizza I've had in Korea. It was so undeniably good that even my father had to admit that it's fantastic. But I guess it wasn't good enough for him to stay for more than one slice. I failed to fully impress him yet again. Sometimes in life, you give it your all and some people will still be dissatisfied and that's okay. What matters is that I tried my best with everything I have. I got a good practice with my first pizza, so the next one turned out even nicer. Wow. Well, children, looks like I proved to the world that I'm more American than an average American today. Just like any American, I love Asian girls. Asian guys, I, I, I'm, I'm cool with them. I know they exist. At this point, they should just give me an American citizenship. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And remember guys, don't let anyone in this world make you feel small and worthless. Not even your parents.
Wow, what a fantastic day in this beautiful land of South Korea. It would be extremely kind if you guys can follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel, and watch another video of mine. Thank you.